In today's video, I want to show you guys a cool Google Slides transition technique where you can actually make your slide look continuous and make it look like it's one page and it's just sliding from left to right. So as usual, I have here my new Google Slides document with just two slides on it. So I can kind of demonstrate you guys on how to make this effect. And you can really make any theme you want. But in today's video, I just want to show you guys like a forest theme, whether you're making a climate change, global warming, or save the trees presentation, whatever it is, right? So as always, I like to go to flaticon.com and I just like to look for just icons such as trees, for example, right? Because we're making a forest theme presentation. And for example, I'm just going to get this, um, you know, this, this one right here, right? I'm going to go over here, copy my PNG to clipboard and paste it here on my slides. And for the background, maybe I could just use a solid color, like a pastel yellow. Um, doesn't have to be too fancy. Maybe something a little bit lighter than that. Yeah, so it's like this. And now we have, for example, trees in the back, right? So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. And I'm just gonna try to align it so they look like they're in one line. So what I'm saying is if I hit slideshow here and I click it, it's, it's just choppy. So if I'm over here and I'm gonna copy this to the next slide right here, right? I'm going to put it right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape such as a rectangle, and I'm going to use it as a guide here from the edge of this presentation. It'll, it'll just literally snap like this, right? And I'm using this as a guide so that when I slideshow, I don't see that rectangle, but that rectangle is actually there. You can see a little bit of a line right there. And what that does is it's going to give me a little guideline of where that tree ended off. You get what I'm saying? So um, I could even make this into a larger scale and put even map like let's just say I'm gonna put mountains in the back, right? So I want to put mountains, and we'll put like a, a we'll put like a mountain range here in the back. It could be this. It doesn't matter what it is. It could just be anything. And I'm pasting it, putting it on the back. So I'm gonna send it back. You can see here that I'm keeping this rectangle actually still here on the side of this part. Uh, on the side of this, right? And so now if I slideshow, I have this nice scene of the forest, right? Again, like I said, if we were to use this guiding rectangle here to kind of just find our edge of the slide, like so, what I can do is I can actually copy all these materials that are you know, on the edge of this, paste it here, and this time I'm actually gonna put, so you, know, you already know the slide ended up at this exact point, right? If I slide this over, for example, to right where that point kind of ended, like right here, I'm holding shift by the way, so they stay aligned. So now if I delete that, and if I delete this rectangle here, this should be a seamless transition. You know what I'm saying? And I could always just copy these mountains, put it in the back, just as I did before. And I could always repeat the same technique over and over again because it's gonna be essentially the same, right? It's, it's the same technique over and over. And also be sure what you wanna do is that if you're already here, you might as well crop the photo because why not, right? You're gonna crop it to wherever it ended. So this one, I could do the same thing, crop it here. And I can also crop the photo in the front one as well to make sure that it's cropped to the side and the edge of the presentation. And it'll still be continuous because of the little marker that we put. Also, I just changed the circle location to the left just because I, I, I just thought, I just think it looks weird if I wanna make it continuous. Let me show you guys what I mean. So when I start, start the slideshow and I click, you can see that it's, the background is like seamless with the, with the, you know, the first slide. So it just looks like one continuous slide. There you go. That's how you make a presentation look seamless in terms of transition and just make everything flow in one go, right? You can add an animation, do a fly in from the bottom, make it a little bit faster, and you can separate it per paragraph or per bullet point, that is. And you can also make it fade out. When I click, it's gonna slide over to the left, and it's you see how it's kind of like a continuous slide, like it's kind of just, it looks like one image in the back, right? And in here, you can have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0.3, and then it's gonna eventually slide again and continue on the forest background. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I know it seems really simple to do, but a lot of people struggle on finding on, on how to do this exactly. So I hope this video really helps on those of you guys who are trying to achieve this effect. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys all in the next video.